The outline of the lateral femur is marked and a curvilinear incision is made centered over the anterior one third aspect of the proximal femur and aiming towards the ASIS. Skin and subcutaneous tissues are sharply dissected with a scalpel. Hemostasis is obtained with bovi cautery. The incision is then taken down to isolate the iliotibial band. The IT band is then marked and bovi cautery is used to incise the IT band. The leading edge of the glute medius can be seen and the bursa surrounding this is then dissected. The glute medius is then elevated with use of a army navy and the capsule is then isolated. An L-shaped capsulotomy is then performed along the inner trochanteric ridge first with the use of a scalpel along with a cranial limb in access with the femoral neck. The corner of the capsule is then tagged with number two at the bond. The extent of the capsulotomy is brought towards the labrum, but not through the labrum. The vastus lateralis is then elevated with a partial transverse limb across the vastus ridge, followed by a subvastus elevation posteriorly. This is to facilitate exposure for placement of the sliding hip screw device. Bowie cautery is then used to elevate this, the vastus lateralis of the proximal femur and the corner is then tagged with a number two at the bottom. A 5.0 millimeter chance pin is then placed in the femur to allow for reduction. The femoral neck is then visualized and K wires are then preloaded just proximal to the fracture site. The reduction is then obtained and clearly visualized with use of an internal rotation force, longitudinal traction, and posterior translation of the femoral head with use of a cob. The K wires are then driven through. As can be seen, multiple K wires must be used. The shans pin is then removed once the final reduction is obtained. The DHHS percutaneous guide is then placed along the lateral femur and a K wire is then placed with center center placement being ideal. The DHHS drill guide is then placed over the guide wire. The TFNA drill bit is then used due to the great purchase of the femoral head and the bone quality. The TFNA drill bit is then used up until the tip of the guide wire, just prior to subchondral bone. The helical blade is then impacted down. The side plate is then attached and placed over the helical blade. This is then impacted down. Two cortical screws are then placed along the side plate. The K-wires are then removed. A compression screw is then placed over the side plate after the side plate is locked in place. A separate cannulated screw to act as a derotational screw is then placed cranial to the helical blade. A partially threaded 7.3 millimeter cannon screw is then placed. The compression screw is then removed.
The wounds are then copiously irrigated. Vancromycin and tobramycin antibiotic powder then placed in the wounds. The capsule is then closed with ovicryl. The partial transverse cut along the vastus ridge is then repaired with use of ovicryl in a horizontal mattress fashion. The IT band is then closed in figure of eight fashion. The remaining wound is then closed in a later fashion with two ovicryl and wire skin staples.